So as an anarchist, what do you do in a society like this? Uh, Thrive. <laughs> I think I'm doing okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I mean, um, I mean, there's an election coming up. There's, uh, as as you talk, uh, You're Welcome is one of the 15 shows that you host. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's down to one. <laughs> okay, it's down to one. Yeah. But I'm a big fan. <laughs> you you talk about libertarianism a little bit. Yeah. I mean, is there some practical political direction, like in terms of we as a society should should go? I don't mean we as a nation. I mean we as a collective of people should go to uh to make a better world from an anarchist point of view. Sure. Uh, I think. Politics is the enemy, uh, and anything. How do you define politics? The state, so like, the government. Okay. So anything that l lessens its sway on people, anything that delegitimizes it, is good. I wrote an article a few years ago about how wonderful it is that Trump is regarded as such a buffoon, because it's very, very useful to have a commander in chief who's regarded as a clown, because it's going to take a lot to get him to convince your kids to go overseas and start killing people and making widows and orphans, as well as those kids coming home in caskets. Whereas if someone is regarded with prestige and they're like, oh, we need to send your kid overseas. Oh, absolutely. I mean, this guy's great. So that is a very healthy thing where people are skeptical of the state. But there's a lot of people that uh, regard him as as one of the greatest leaders we've ever had. Yeah, <laughs> Dinesh D'Souza, he's another Lincoln.